Making an Abrams tank in Sprocket seems like it'd be simple enough, but with most of the tank's actual stats being classified, it's going to be a lot of guesswork, and this video is largely the same. No classified information was used in the making of this tank, everything is just the result of me guessing and browsing the Wikipedia page. But rather than testing it out on the scenario missions, I decided to test the Abrams against everything I've made in my previous Sprocket videos to date. And you'll want to stay to the end, because this one has a conclusion that I really did see coming. Let's get to it. And here it is. This is the M1 Abrams, of course. And I tried my best. I played around with the freeform uh, quite a bit to try and get it to at least look like the Abrams, but stats-wise, obviously, most of the stuff is classified, and I had to just guess. Uh, so it's probably not going to be anything like the real thing, maybe, but let's find out. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that the game doesn't have the option for adding gas turbine engines, so I had to just make the most powerful engine I possibly could and mess around with the gear ratios to kind of get it to move something like an Abrams, but given that it weighs 139 tons, it's probably not going to be all that fast. And the only reason it weighs that much is be because this is Sprocket, and Sprocket doesn't do composites or any kind of modern type of armor, so... You gotta work with what you got, and this is the best that I could come up with. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments, and let's find out how this performs in the brand new custom battles options that we have available. Right, so we're going over onto the Dunes map over here, uh, because that seems to be the sort of natural home of the Abrams, is what you would associate with the most. And let's see, we're gonna set it up against something relatively simple. I'm gonna go with something that's in the game already. Yeah, I think we're gonna go against Centurions. So it'll be one platoon of Abrams tanks against one platoon of Centurion tanks. Let's see how we get on. Alright, and we are in. And it's definitely moving a lot faster than I expected it would be. Uh, our platoon spacing is a little bit wide, I think. Yeah, we got guys all the way over there, so that's probably not gonna work out super well. And the Centurions have already started advancing, and they're already firing at us, so let's see if I can just get this guy here. I think I just hit the ground there. Alright, we've got about a 7 second reload, slightly longer than you would expect, but yeah, it's not using modern ammunition, put it that way. Oh, okay, that, that failed to pen. Alright, so I use the actual specs for the 120 x 570 NATO tank cartridge. And, of course, this is not simulating modern propellant. So it's traveling at about half the speed that it would otherwise. And right through the belly of that Centurion. No dramas whatsoever. So we just have to pick our shots a little bit more careful here. We are using solid AP rounds here too. And I'm gonna get this guy right here. There we go. Right through the side of the turret. Alright, we've got some Centurions off in the distance here. I'm gonna use this dune as cover and we're gonna see if we can do a little bit of hull down. This gun does have 9 degrees of depression. So that is, I believe, around about where the Abrams is. Again, the Abrams is not a platform I trained on, so I'm not familiar with all of the specs. But minus 9 seems a little bit closer to what it would be in real life. Oh, okay, well, there we go. We've got we've got somebody in the distance over there. I believe that is the last Centurion on the enemy team. Now, is he coming towards me or is he sitting still? I think he is sitting still right here. Yeah, let's just have a little peek here. And we're gonna take that shot. It landed a little bit short of him. Not entirely sure what he's doing here. No, I'm hitting way too short, I think. Gotta get a little bit higher up. Can't quite get a good look at him. All right, let's see if I can get you now doesn't look like it's connecting. It does seem to be pretty much frozen solid, although I would I would be that way, you know, if I'm in a Centurion Mark 1 against an Abrams tank. Oh, there we go, he's woken up. Oh, we bounced a shot off our side, and there we go. So, not too many dramas at all, and all of our tanks survived, so... But how would it perform against something a little bit tougher? Alright, and so we're back again on the dunes, and I'm going up against a platoon of Leopard 1s from the last episode on Sprocket. A lot of people complained that it didn't quite look like a Leopard, but it did at least have the same stats as the Leopard. It used the same sort of measurements and so on. So it's about as accurate as I could get it. 
And we're going to see how it performs against the Abrams here. I don't know if it's going to be too survivable because that's not what the Leopard is built for. Oh, we did take a hit. That was a penetrating hit, but I don't think it did any damage. Oh, right through the hull there. Yeah, so the Leopard 1 definitely has very thin hull armor, and that's something that you definitely don't want to be up against. So it definitely feels like it penned the turret of the Abrams. And these other three Leopards seem to be stationary. Oh, they're awake now. They're moving around. All right, I'm going to go for the one that isn't moving. Or maybe I'll just go up and shoot this one. Okay, I hit his track, apparently. Uh, but he deflected a shot off of me. That was a point-blank bounce off of me. I don't want to expose my side because they do have the ability to pen the sides of the Abrams tank. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. But look at him coming, coming here. Come on, let's get the gun up. Now, unfortunately, the gun is very heavy. So it does struggle to elevate. And it's unfortunately a problem I can't really find a solution for. And we're just going to finish off this guy right here. Come on. Gun. Get the gun up. Get the gun up. Come on. Come on. Fire. There we go. So, the Leopard 1, definitely in a head-to-head -head fight with an Abrams, might actually be not the best matchup, as it turns out. But how would it perform in a match against the Apocalypse tank? I've decided to switch to a different map. This is a defense map, where it is basically a flat ground. Oh, he just lost all of the front of the tank. Okay. Well, that's slightly unfortunate. The fenders just came off. Oops. Well, it's fine. It's fine. You know, it's all decorative. It's it's perfectly okay. The crew's not dead. And we've got a twin barrel juggernaut to go and hunt down. Right, I think we're approaching the slope where the apocalypse tank should be. I don't see it. And it's quite unnerving when, you know, you, you feel like you're looking for something that can't be found. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it in the distance. That might be it. Oh, look at that thing. It's looking right at us. Um, right. So I have no idea how far away that is because the tank is gigantic. So I don't know if that's very near or very far. I'm going to take a shot. Oh, that was very, very close. Oh, it's looking at me. Okay, I'm going to get in a little bit closer. Might not be the best idea, but we might get, end up brawling with it. Okay, it does seem to be sitting quite comfortably in this little ditch here, which is a very, very good sort of hull down position for us. But I really hope that we're not about to one-shot it. Oh, it didn't pen. Okay, this is, this is slightly scary now. Oh, no, it's turning to look at me. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Use your speed, Abrams. Use your speed. Okay, it can't get its guns back up again. It's It takes a while for it to re-aim its guns. So let's see if I can get our gun on target. Oh, I didn't even pen the side of it. Oh, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Oh, it's turning to look at me again. Keep shooting at it. I think I just penned it. We might be able to get in the rear here. It might be able to start shooting soon. I have no idea how this is going to go. No! All right. So now we got a platoon of Abrams tanks against the six-gun Sally. Also known as the tank with too many guns. A tank that I ostensibly described as being kind of... American in nature. So my last attempt at an American tank against what is essentially the actual American tank. Now we have lost a few pieces already, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think the bumps and stuff are shaking those pieces off, which is kind of a shame, but they are decorative. Now the six gun Sally, in case you can't tell, is a tank with six guns. It's essentially an M50 Ontos or Ontus. Uh, on toast on toast uh that has a little bit more armor and a little bit more speed but it does have a relatively long reload time but look at them they look like aliens oh okay i knocked them out so the real danger here is that they very well could be able to take out one of the abrams tanks with just sheer volume of fire I'm going to see if I can get this one before he gets to me. Right through the turret. No dramas whatsoever. But how will our M1 tank platoon perform against nine panther tanks? Well, we're about to find out. First shot away. There's a panther in the distance somewhere, I think. Yeah, the AI is definitely taking some shots at someone. I don't quite see what they're shooting at. Oh, there's something there in the distance there. All right, we've got to advance on them. Now, there's nine of them, so... 
well, eight of them now. I don't think the panther is really ready to face something like this, but it just bounced a shot that I don't think it should have. That's impressive. I'm gonna go for the turret right there. Oh, I didn't need to. I didn't need to. That went, that one went pop real nicely. All right, we got to advance with the platoon. We still have all four tanks up. I, I, yeah, we got one lagging behind over there. Oh, everything went flying. Oopsie. Well, there go the fenders. SEM-1 could use a little bit more ground clearance on its front. Okay, very smart by the AI, using a dead tank as cover. Or perhaps he's stuck. We'll never really know, but the AI does tend to be idiot savant sometimes. All right, there's an advancing panther. Is he going to fire? Do we dare try to take the shot? I wonder. Is he going to be able to pen me? I have no idea. I don't think he's got the gun depression. Well, I'm going to take the shot. I've missed somehow. <laughs> I've completely missed. Well, the AI definitely didn't miss. And there's one more in the distance here. There's another one right here, actually. Oh, it, it deflected off. And we've got one more advancing. Okay, we've managed to bounce one of the shots. And we're going to fire on this one here. That's gone straight through. Very nice. So it does seem like that machine gun port that it has on its hull might be a weak point. Or we're just getting lucky with our shots. They're down to three tanks remaining. Three tanks. All right. And we bounced another shot. That's gone straight through his hull. And so if the Abrams tank was in World War II, I think, unfortunately for all of the German armored divisions, it would have been a bit of a problem for them, to say the least. Oh, I was meant, meaning that to end there, but uh, I completely... Oh, we, our driver's been killed. They've actually penned me. They actually penned it right through there and killed the driver. So not completely invulnerable, but it would have been a problem for the Wehrmacht back then. And of course, for the final battle, we're going to send one platoon of Abrams tanks against the ultimate force. The force to be reckoned with, it's an entire company of Kevins. Let's go. The Kevin, as we know, is the ultimate tank. The most powerful tank to ever have been created in Sprocket. And definitely not one to be taken lightly. Their small size and sheer speed is going to be an issue for the Abrams, I think. And of course, with the upgraded Kevin A1, it has a bigger gun, so it might actually be able to do some damage to us. And I'm slightly nervous about advancing too far be beyond the railway line just because I know what the Kevins are capable of. So I think this is as far forward as I want to go. I want to use the open field to defend against them. And it does seem like our Abrams as well are kind of sitting back. They're kind of holding back. I, I honestly don't really know what to do because it does seem like this many Kevins has slightly broken the AI. Our, um, our friendly tanks seem to be asleep, which could very well be a problem once the Kevins start approaching. So I hope I can wake them up a little bit. Like, hey, buddy. Wake up, buddy. Come on. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think we we might have a problem here. Looks like I'm fighting them alone. So, of course, this being the experimental branch of Sprocket means there's going to be one or two issues with stuff like that. And that's a little bit unfortunate. I would have liked the help of an entire platoon, but it does look like I'm going to have to face my worst nightmares alone. I do believe, yeah, the, it is the Kevins. The Kevins are here. Now, this could be a walk in the park if they are asleep as well, but I have a feeling they are not. Yeah, they are definitely moving. The Kevins are on the move. Oh, they're going to be really hard to hit. They are so small. I mean, if we're talking relative size, the Kevins definitely are... Uh... Oh, one of them's rolled over. Oh, no, he's back on, his, back on his tracks. Oh, we have... Yep, we have some of the Abrams tanks moving. We do have tank support. Oh, God, look at them. Look at them. There's so many of them. Great. Extricate, extricate. Oh, I hit one. I think I knocked his track off. Yeah, I knocked his track off. They are just, they're, it, they're like, they're like a pack of weasels or honey badgers. Oh, and that completely bounced off of him as well. They don't have a lot of armor, but when you're that small, it's like condensing it all down. All right, I'm going to go for the ram. Go for the ram. I don't know if it's working. Ooh, fire, fire into the mess. Oh, they penned me. Oh, look at all of the holes. We've definitely taken a bit of a beating here. So far, no penning on the side, but I don't want them to get lucky. All right, there's one down. Oh, no, we've been knocked out. 
We've been knocked out. <laughs> the one thing that it took an entire apocalypse tank to do, and the Kevins have managed it. This is absolutely insane. All right, we're gonna pick this one off at a distance. Did I get him? Yep, I did. All right, let's 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 back it up here. I need to get out of here. I think this tank might be stuck. Oh no, I, I, I'm I spawned inside of a rock. Yeah, all right, there we go, we're free. All right, let's go. We gotta get moving. We are down to just two Abrams tanks left against seven Kevins. There's still seven of them up. There was a shot that came over from the right. Uh, I believe that might actually be a Kevin that's propped up in there. I'm gonna go and try to look. Oh yeah, there's one definitely still up here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. All right, six remaining and I, I don't know where they are. They could literally be anywhere. Some of these here look like they've been knocked out, so we might be okay there. I'm just keeping an eye out for anything moving right now. Oh, I see one. He might be rolled over, but he's still alive. Take no chances. Take no prisoners. The Kevins are definitely, definitely a force to be reckoned with here. All right, we had one Kevin destroyed by the environment. It does seem like he might have rolled over. So there's four of them remaining. Oh, there's one right behind me. He came in for a sneak attack. No, 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 no. Don't you get in behind me. You get out of there. Oh, he missed. Okay, he missed. He missed. He missed. I got to keep the front arm frontal armor towards the enemy. Frontal armor towards the enemy. Ram him. We've pushed him. Oh, that's bad. Look at him. He's he's just going. He's just going in for the kill. This is unbelievable. I got I got to get away from this guy. Get away from him. He's chasing me. Look how fast he is. Oh god, the other three are alive. Oh, now I've got four on me. No, 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 no. Oh, this is really bad. They're going for my sides. All right, I, I got a chance here. I got a chance here. All right, one down, one down. Back it up, back it up. This is the moment where I would pop smoke and get out of here. We've got a really good reverse speed here. And are we loaded? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him. All right, one, one more down. But the next shot might not be so lucky. Come on, where are you? Oh, he's out turning my turret. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, use that reverse speed. Hit him. Yes, I got him. All right, he's knocked out. We've got one more remaining. I'm having to work so hard to fight these guys. Oh, that was a straight shot to the turret as well. And it bounced. It didn't kill him. No way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the last Abrams. Didn't plan or script any of this at all. It is now a 1v1 situation between an Abrams and a Kevin. And I, I don't know how this has happened. Oh, there he is. There he is. I, if he's stuck, then... Ooh, he's, he is hitting me. All right, let's try to get in a better spot. Because remember, these Kevins are still lethal against the armor of the Abrams. So we may very well be looking at a tricky situation here. That one's down. That was the wrong one! I killed the wrong one! I'm reloading still. Come on. Oh, that was a bad hit. Come on. Oh, I missed. No. You can't even crush them. What is this? Oh, Jesus. That is absolutely unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that says everything that we've ever needed to know about tanks and sprocket and indeed the m1 abrams and as, as much as i base this off of data i could get online of the m1a1 abrams i'm still amazed at how well it performed but the surprise i was not expecting is just how well kevin a tank that i made as a joke damn near wiped out the entire m1 platoon and i don't think you guys were expecting that either and if you weren't you need to hit that like button and of course subscribe if you're brand new to the channel my name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.